What's up everybody, this is The Helpful Hacker. Today we're gonna to be going over TriHackMe's Intro to Offensive Security Room, where we're gonna learn about offensive security and we're gonna actually learn how to hack a bank. So with that, let's get started with task number one. Task number one is just gonna quickly review what's offensive security um, and it's gonna explain a little bit about what defensive security is. But basically, to keep it simple, offensive security, you're going to be attacking systems. Defensive security, you're going to be defending those systems. So you should just be able to read through this. Once you understand it, click on the button down here at the bottom. And with that, you're done with task one. Task two is going to be hacking your first machine. This is where we're going to learn how to hack the bank. So here... We're just gonna go through, follow uh, each one of these step by step. So for those of you who haven't used Try Hack Me before, it's basically an online platform to help train and educate people in cybersecurity. So with a subscription, you get these browser-based machines. That's what I'm using right now. Um, and so when you pay, a, it's a super cheap subscription. Um, you you get that for free and so I, I just hit this start machine button here and it opens up the machine already configured with everything that i need if you don't want to pay the subscription you can do this you can do some rooms and try hack me for free you don't get all the content but you just have to set up a vpn and connect to one of their machines and there's instructions on doing that um and I have a video on doing that that you can check out if you need to. But I always just like to use the browser-based machines. Uh, it's quicker. And, you know, a lot of times if I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to reviewing or practicing a skill, it, it's really handy because I can just start the machine. I can practice a little bit. And then if something interrupts me or if I have to, you know, put my attention somewhere else, it's not a big deal. And I can just come right back. So... That's a quick explanation of kind of what's going on here, what this start machine button is, and how TryHackMe works. So now that we've gone over that, hacking your first machine, or in this case, hacking a bank. So once you've started the machine, you'll either have done that or you'll have set up your own VPN. Open it up and go to fakebank.com. And then what it's going to have us do is it's going to have us open up a terminal. Okay, so that's step one, open a terminal. And then it gives you a little blurb if you don't know what a terminal is, read that. Um, if you have further questions about it, give it a Google, but basically a terminal is a way to interact with the computer just through typing, right? That's, that's the most basic version of it, I think. So what we're gonna do, step two, now that we have this terminal open is we're gonna find hidden website pages. So on a website, just move this, you'll see fakebank.com and a lot of websites have this. And so other pages to the website might be like forward slash um, activate. That's one that I see a lot whenever you're trying to like get onto Netflix on a different TV, it'll be netflix.com forward slash activate. So what we're doing here is we're just going to give a command to this terminal and it's gonna basically oh, open up two of them it's gonna basically just amend different words to the end of this website to see if those pages exist and it does that with a tool called GoBuster. so something that you should do whenever you're practicing cybersecurity or learning if you don't know what a tool is you need to type in man and then go buster or the name of the tool into the terminal. And what it'll do is it will give you this really nice, just quick explanation of what the tool does. Uh, it's a directory file and DNS busting tool um, gives you the name and then it tells you a bit about it and how to use it in some of the syntax. And syntax is something that you'll just get better at as you practice. Um, another command that you can do for that is just help, or sorry, it's go buster 
attack H for help. And it gives you the exact same thing, right? It's just going to give you kind of a quick overview of what the tool is, how to use it in some basic syntax. So that's something super useful to keep in mind. You should do it anytime you run into a tool that you don't know or that you're trying to learn. So it's going to have us find these hidden web pages here. So it's going to give us the command right here. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it right there in the terminal. Now what this is doing is first it's naming the tool. So what tool are we going to use? GoBuster. Then it has this tack U. Now if we went back to the man pages or that help page that we saw in the terminal earlier, it would tell us that tack U stands for URL. So this is the URL that we are going to be searching for hidden web pages. And then the next part is attack W, and that stands for word list. And then this is the word list. Um, and what that's going to do is this is just the list. It's a long list of words that we're going to app append or add to the end of this URL and see if the page exists or not. Um, and then this dir stands for directory. Um, that's a bit more advanced for GoBuster and knowing how that works isn't too important for this room. Um, but it is part of the command. It kind of puts the tool in directory mode. Cause if you notice there was it talked about the tool is a DNS and directory tool. So directory by putting this at the end, we're putting it in directory mode. So I'm going to run this command just hit enter at the end of that and then we're going to look at their output and our output and what we have here is we have the mode like i talked about earlier directory um then it gives us the url this is the url that we used that we're searching for those hidden web pages on so then here we also have our word list dot txt and this is just all of the different names of the pages that we're trying to find we're trying to see if they exist or not um, and then down here we have our results. So the tool added forward slash images to the end of this URL and it got a 301 status, which is a redirect. And then it also had a forward slash transfer and her forward slash bank transfer, sorry. And so it added that to the end of this URL and it had a status of 200. So over here, we can see that those are the pages found by GoBuster. You can read through all this. Um, this will just explain some of the syntax that we already talked about. And now what we can do, step three, is going to be to actually hack the bank. So if I come up here and if I type in that URL that we found, forward slash bank transfer, that takes me to the admin portal of the bank. So this is the staff account, and this is how staff would transfer money between different bank accounts. So what I can do is if I take a look at what it wants me to do, it wants me to transfer $2,000 from this account, and we're going to send it to this account, this 881, and then amount, 2000 and then we're going to send the money, send to account number, does not exist. Ooh, I got these reversed. Come on, basic reading comprehension. Okay. And then this is the 88A1. Okay, now let's try that. Boom, success, transfer complete. So now we just transferred $2,000. So if I return to the account, we see this. It says, congratulations, you hacked the bank. The answer to the, high, to the try hack me question is bank hacked. So you can type that into here. That's called a flag. You'll see a lot more of these if you're using try hack me or doing CTFs or just learning cybersecurity. So you can put that in here and then click on correct answer. Finish reading through this. And it kind of gives you some instructions if you're using um, these browser-based machines like I am. And if you go through, click those 
all those buttons in this last part of task two. With that, you'll have finished task two. So let me just terminate my machine real quick. And now that we're done with task two, it's on to task number three. Task three talks about how can I start learning. Uh, I'm super biased, but my suggestion is start with Try Hack Me. Try Hack Me does a lot of hand holding. Um, you'll some people complain about it and they'll say other platforms are better. I like it because you know it depends on what you're looking for. But a lot of times I don't have time in my day between work and everything else to bang my head against the wall and keep trying to hack something without a little help. So that's why I like Try Hack Me for quick little bits of learning and I can do that throughout the day and it's super helpful. So highly recommended, Try Hack Me is awesome. And then it also gives you, um, just talks about other ways that you can, you know, get into cybersecurity. And then it talks about what careers are in cybersecurity. So these are a lot of your offensive, your kind of the three big offensive jobs that are out there. The big one that or the big two, I should say, that everyone really thinks is awesome and wants to do is penetration tester and red teamer. They're basically ethical hackers and they'll hack applications and websites and networks to find out what's wrong with them so that the blue teamers or the defensive security guys can fix it. And then you have a security engineer. Um, they do a bit more than just hacking. They do know how to hack, but they do, like it says right here, design, monitor, and maintain security controls and networks and systems. So security engineer kind of does a little bit of both. Um, but yeah, read through that. If you have more questions about any of these careers, just Google it. So now that you have an understanding of offensive security and kind of what it's all about and some of the different jobs in it and how it works, you have to check out the intro to defensive security room from Try Hack Me. I have a walkthrough video of that room on my channel. You can check it out there, or you can click the link on your screen to watch that video next. With that, if you found this video helpful at all, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out. And once you've done all that, completed all three tasks, You've completed the intro to offensive security room from TryHackMe.